This is Metabolic Radio, the podcast dedicated to keeping you informed when it comes to everything fitness. My name is Taylor Ampey, and with the help of my co-host Shane Pace, we aim to expose the truths about the health and fitness industry. The information and suggestions given in this podcast should not be considered as clinical or medical advice. Consult with a physician before implementing any information provided on this podcast. So this episode is kind of part two of our FitCon supplement review. We picked a handful of supplements that um, we wanted to talk about separately from some of more of those mainstream ones. In the last episode, if you haven't listened, go back and check it. It's episode eight. We talk about branched chain amino acids, protein powders, um, kind of meal replacement and protein bars, and a ketogenic diet bar because keto is kind of one of those things that's becoming really popular. Mm Mm-hmm. Lately, but Shane kind of handpicked out some of these uh, supplements that are uh, some not these. Some of these are controversial, and some of them aren't. And there, we're going to also segue into some other potentially controversial supplements like pro hormones and oh, wow. uh, testosterone we're boosters. Going way bigger. This could be a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so Shane, let's let's hit it. What do you got? Well, let's start off with these. So, so is this one part of Thrive as well? No, 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 no. So what's this? Okay, so this supplement is uh, called Ephedra Powered uh, by Rhino Rush Energy. It is a pre-workout supplement. And for those of you who don't know what Ephedra is, it's a popular uh, bodybuilder drug. It was. I'm sorry, not drug. uh, Supplement. It was. Was. popular. uh, That is. Banned. Has. Yeah, it's been banned. So you can still get it. Forms of federal. As a prescription. That's uh, That's true. But it's a controlled substance, essentially, now. Um, And uh, it has high stimulant effects. And um, there are strains. I'm not sure if I'm using the terminology correct, and that's why I'm kind of relying on Shane for a little bit more of this, but. Because he has more uh, education in this realm, but. There are different types, I guess I should say, of certain ingredients. And this company found a type of ephedra or a ephedrin, um, ephedra alkaloid type strain called uh, on the ingredient list here, ephedra viridis, I think I'm pronouncing that right, uh, as a leaf extract um, that is not a banned version of ephedra. So they legally have ephedra in this supplement that is technically... Uh, it's an amphetamine, is it not? Mm-hmm. It, so it is. It is it's, a drug. It's a. It's a health. It's a. It's a naturally based one. So it is. It is a drug then, because we were having a conversation. You were saying it's not a drug. Well, it's. It is, but it's. It's not. A, it's not a uh, man twisted drug mm-hmm. so much. It's more. It's more extracted from natural sources. But mm-hmm. yeah, it's well. Like, so it, it'd be like. It's not like. I don't want to make this radical analogy, but I can't think of anything different. It's not necessarily like pure cocaine. It's more like some op- or uh, some coca yeah. extract. Yeah, it would be that idea. Okay. Yeah, it's that kind of makes sense. But that's... so we're holding it here, and it's that's literally one of the ingredients. So, um, And that's the way it was marketed, actually, at, at FitCon, where I've got the supplement. Well, Federal works. Well, no, it does what it says it does, oh, yeah. but it's it's a dangerous, it potentially dangerous well, let, substance to give to someone who doesn't know what they're they're consuming. Oh, absolutely. Let, let's step back a step from this one because I don't want to say that this is the same category. But they, uh, the class action suit that caused a lot of the, the well, it's a different, it's a totally different. I, I realize that, but what I'm saying in the Federa aspects, okay, so so the class action suit with the Federa itself mm-hmm. was based on heart damage that it was doing. Mm-hmm. And were people were having were they not um, having uh, strokes and yes, heart attacks? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's and there's was, a lot of actual there's a lot of uh, uh, research and um, news uh, coverage of th- that particular time frame. Yep. Uh, and, that you can look up if you're curious to learn more about the uh, effects or the the potential negative effects of a right. And that's that's the reason why I'm not saying that this specifically is is that. And I'm not saying that either because I don't want to say that. No, because I've not no, tried I don't know this enough. supplement. On top of that, I don't know enough about what they're what they're pushing out here. But mm-hmm. but I will just say that it was heavily marketed to me. Their big banner said Ephedra. 
and it they were they openly talking about it. it says it right here on the label mm-hmm. ephedra powered it, they're they're purposefully marketing the fact that it has ephedra or some form of ephedra in it so they're they're it's they're not there's no shame oriented around it with the company no. but i don't want to i don't want to make claims about the company specifically or this supplement because i've never tried it because i don't want to put ephedra well, in my body well that's but. the reason why it's that's and see i have had ephedra okay so let's um, tell but me a i had bit about i had that. ephedra back in gosh 90 it was before it was banned, so nine, it was probably 90, 98, 99. I just tried it for energy, actually. I, I was trying to get away from caffeine at the time. Uh-huh. And, um, well, that'll I, do it. And so I changed over to ephedra because it was supposed to boost energy. Mm-hmm. And it didn't mess with me like that. But that being said, you don't know. And that's what scares me about this is ultimately you don't know what that's going to do. Exactly. That's why I'm not going to take it. Because right. I could, like, I could, we, let's look at the other ingredients in here and, and kind of see what's in there. It's got... Uh, Citrulline malate is the first ingredient. So this is primarily you're going to see muscle pumps. You're going to see your mm-hmm. your muscles swell with blood. Blood vessels are going to dilate. Beta alanine is the next ingredient, which is that uh, it curbs. Um, we didn't talk about this in the last episode, but it, it curbs the buildup of lactate, which allows for a little bit more of muscle endurance. So you can typically perform a few more repetitions or right. you just have better endurance. Magnesium, creatine, uh, creatine phosphate, dicreatine malate. Uh, agmatine, sulfate, malic acid, taurine, caffeine, uh, andrus, andrus, increasing water retention in your muscle. Yep, tyrosine, glutamine, chaparro prieto, whole herb. I'm not sure what that is. And then ephedra finally is down the list. So there's not very much ephedra in here, but you just don't know how much there is, well, like which is said, scary. I mean, because well, that's true too. You, it doesn't say a milligram amount. You just don't know. Right. It, but it is further down the list, so it's not the main ingredient, at least. Right. Uh, theobromine, uh, phenyl, phenylethylamine, uh, HCL, and yohimbi. It yohimbi. also It also con- contains natural artificial flavoring, citric acid, sucralose, which is your sweetener, calcium silicate and silicon dioxide and uh, i can never pronounce this acesulfame acesulfame potassium something like that um so those are your ingredients axel sulfate oh (laughs) axel sulfate even it it, uh, so so um yohimbine what that'll do is that'll that'll actually cause your it it, it affects your blood that's a that has steam on effects does it not it does absolutely yeah yeah, in fact, it'll make your heart beat out of your chest if you mm-hmm. haven't had Yohimbi it is found... Yohimbi, caffeine, a lot of those things are found in uh, your fat burners. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Absolutely. So, do, well, so this ephedra thing, what? anything else you want to cover about that? No, that's just, a hot topic. The only reason why I wanted to bring that up is because I would be very cautious about it. I'm not saying it's bad. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying I wouldn't, I wouldn't jump on the bandwagon yeah. for that stuff because it's been proven to do that in the yeah. past. So ephedra is going to be really common, among, or, or I guess in demand among more intense weightlifters... Uh, the bodybuilding industry potentially more bodybuilding because they run a one. I don't know very many women that have ever expressed interest in ephedra. Oh, they did. I, I mean, like in, it's, that it, I've known. Obviously, right. back during the ephedra, big bodybuilding years. Ephedra, ephedra. One of the biggest things it did is it's a fat burner, and so and it. Oh yeah. Works oh, you're right. Amazingly I about this. well. No, it is an amazing. You're right because when bodybuilders use this, dude, it's to cut. No, I understand that, but. Was there not some information? I, I feel like there was some information I read about women, even just housewives, abusing oh, ephedra yeah. Oh, yeah. for fat loss. Oh, sports. yeah. Not oh, even crazy. working out, yeah, but just yeah. taking Back in the it. Day, absolutely. Just like, like because of its. That's uh, the reason why it became quality. such a big deal and, and had such a big class action suit going mm. on. I never even followed the class action suit. I just don't like that kind of stuff. But yeah, um, yeah. But it, uh, yeah, it was huge. It was huge. Interesting. So, so, That's yeah, the reason why I want to talk about that. The, just real quick, just as just as a warning, I'm not saying anything I'm about sorry. the company themselves, but I do want you to know that they're claiming that there is ephedra in here um, or a form of it. Rhino Rush Energy Pre Workout is what it's called. Um, I personally wouldn't recommend it because of the potential risk factors. Right, I'm not going to take it. I've never had it, and I don't plan on doing. Well, it. And we're not future. making any claims one way or the other. We're just saying it has. That I, I mean, it cautious. has benefits. It also has consequences. It definitely has consequences. And that's like I said, I took ephedra. It didn't do anything to me um, in a negative light that I know about. 
Um, my heart still is fine. It mm -hmm. didn't, have, didn't cause any issues that way. I think this would be, for a healthy individual, it might not be as much of a risk factor. It would be less it, of a risk factor. It sure. would be more of a risk factor if you already had high blood pressure. It would augment. Um, you know, um, other heart disease uh, issues. You, if you've had a stroke or at risk for a stroke, uh, plaque buildup, those kind of things. I think that if you're already kind of a, at risk, it's just going to worsen your risk. Yes, and that's what, that's that's again another reason why I'd bring that up. It it would augment it. It would make it uh, mm -hmm. make it that strong. And I think it's it's also a risk for bodybuilders too that are supplementing with um, actual Anything? anabolics because no, without question. those th anabolics thicken um, your blood uh, and it can. Well, it, it can. Depends yeah. on what you're taking. It can, and in certain amounts only, it can, and which could um, well. easily cause a clot and thus a stroke. So I feel I the the. Um, combination of the two would be not necessarily a good recipe right oh absolutely <clears throat> absolutely I, like i said when you when you start cross <laughs> for using a flower based term um pollinating cross <laughs> yeah um two different chemicals you're 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 always looking at risk that they don't even know what's coming mm -hmm. so if you're taking multiple um uh forms of whatever you never know what the effect's going to be because yeah. clinically speaking, they haven't studies on the crossing of mm -hmm. two different things necessarily. Well, and, and to, since you're talking about that, one thing to mention too is you could even take a supplement and nothing happen, uh, what, regardless of its risk. But if you combine that with medications you're taking, oh, yeah, you have no idea what's going to happen. Absolutely. Um, if you're taking, um, Let's say you're, you're, you, you've been diagnosed with ADHD, you're already taking Adderall, which is already a form of speed, which is an amphetamine. Then you throw ephedra in the mix. I don't know what could happen, to be honest. No, I'm would, not a doctor, I, but those are two substances I would, that have similar effects that I wouldn't want to combine together to have a super dose or an overdose. Right. Um, if that's, that's possible. I, mean, I would think that would. I would think the odds would go up. But again, yeah, yeah. Again, we're not doctors by any means, but I, I would think that. How would it affect antidepressants? Uh, you know, we just don't know these things. Well, how, and, how would it affect your heart medication? See, and, and we'll cover this briefly here, but I, I'll tell you, um, when you start looking at at vitamins, <clears throat> um, um, different forms of supplements, even this stuff, yeah, and and you start talking about medication, mm -hmm. um, there is actually reason to be afraid of those combining absolutely and and, I, and you know i want to study that in depth the, the book that we're trying to put together that's one thing that i want to cover is is i want oh, to that cover could be a whole book by that's what i'm saying dude. that's <laughs> why i think it's such a big work. yeah but it, it um because uh, the 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 effect of, of of a vitamin on on birth control can shut it down depending on what it is it, mm -hmm. on on did you on, know that that grapefruit does the same thing? oh yes grapefruit will basically um make uh ineffective many forms of medication well, including birth controls well and it augments yeah. others so 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 um this is the wrong time to talk about it at this point but I'll, I'll i'll touch it and then we'll come back to it um if you want to take a a, a legal and understand i'm very much based on legal on this but le a pro hormone a sarm well so what's a pro hormone hey, describe these terms so people pro, know what pro they are. hormones uh, are precursors to to testosterone mm -hmm. and and um what it'll do is it sets it up so well it's a precursor to any hormone pro hormone is a precursor to yeah but but well, usually they're leveraging it about. in hopes of promoting testosterone in in the case in the case that we're talking about yeah it's all that yeah but because like DHEA is a illegal, is it, well, easy to get uh, pro hormone that could be converted to estrogen, cortisol, yes, testosterone, all, HGH. All of them DHEA. Yeah. Yep. You're right on that. And, um, in fact, um, uh, let me think what it is called. Um, one one andro. What the heck is one andro oh, converts yeah. directly? It's a pro hormone, but it converts over directly to uh, one test in the body. So when you take it, you're not taking testosterone, but your body converts it to testosterone, so it's similar. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. It does the same thing with with four andro with um, uh, some of these SARMs that are. And a SARM is what? A SARM is a selective antigen receptor modulator. But the thing with with SARMs is that they're uh, they're actually a research chemical. Mm -hmm. They're not legal for human consumption technically. Yeah. They uh, you can buy them legally, but they're not. They're but not, not as a consumable. It's sold as a it research is, drug. It is a research drug that is not. I mean, they've been researching it for years. Yeah. Uh, there's there's research on SARMs from back in 2011. I mean, it, five years plus it's been out there. I think it's probably been longer than that. Um, do I think SARMs themselves are are highly dangerous? But are know, they SARMful? <laughs> Wow, that's a twist on almost the same sound. Uh, 
But no, they're they're um, they're questionably safe. Okay. Um, they're they're made to specifically connect to the uh, andro- andro- androgen recept- receptors in the body mm-hmm. to make them so they have a specific reaction, but they don't have another reaction. Mm-hmm. That's why they're called a SARM. But Select- selective, selective antigen receptor modulator yeah. is what they're called. But they they so it, it elicits a specific thing is what they're made for. Mm-hmm. The research isn't firm enough that they're safe. Yeah. But but they do a specific thing. So so you know when when somebody's taking stuff like that, but you start mixing that with things like grapefruit juice, it increases it. Mm-hmm. It makes it stronger. Mm-hmm. You take it with like uh, one andro, and it'll make it so your body absorbs it better. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. So um, that's like you said, it does specific things to, to different things. You don't know what that reaction is going to be yeah. until you it's, start it's taking kind of, it. It's a gamble. I mean, you take it's it. It's a big gamble. And depending on many, many factors, it, it may turn into testosterone. And, and Well, it will. It'll still it'll still. I mean, I, I guess I'm thinking of DHEA. Again. Uh, DHEA but, but, is a little different. Yes, but but it, you it, just it don't know what the reaction is going to be. Correct. And, and like I said, my, my fear when you bring up what you just said is the crossing between you're taking vitamins that, that you may have been told to take by a doctor and they don't understand that you're taking those and they prescribe another doctor prescribes you something else and they may cross and they may mm-hmm. have a, an unknown reaction is the yeah. uh, is the sad reaction that yeah. you get so you know that's that's the stuff you got to be careful with that's why with some of this stuff you got to really know what you're doing before you even I touch think any of it another thing to talk about too is whether it's supplements medications vitamins herbals mm-hmm. You're taking different combinations of these. Like, you mm-hmm. can get, like, the, uh, any of these... Cross-counter. Uh, cross-counter. Yeah. And you combine a bunch of those mm-hmm. together because you're like, oh, I want to take a fat burn and I want to take... I'm taking a joint supplement because my knees hurt and I'm taking a multivitamin and I'm taking a protein powder and I'm taking creatine because I want to develop muscle and I'm taking this herbal, you know, fat loss thing or whatever that I saw on the internet. And you put all that stuff in your body and now your liver has to process all of that. And... Well, and, and so, here you're right on that, dude. But, I mean, but, so whether I, it's I, I, all I, supplements or medications mixed with them or hormones as well, you've you've you've, you've got to be careful how much your risk you put into your body. You've increased your risk, mm-hmm. is what I would say on that. It's it's um, when you talk liver toxicity, a lot of this stuff isn't liver toxic until they add uh, methylation. Become, become, uh, if I could speak, methylated. If you make it meth- methylated, mm-hmm. then it, it it because. You're combining. I can go on, on a more a uh, molecule level to explain this, and I don't think I want to do that. Um, but it, it blocks it so that it, it doesn't just kick it out of your body. Mm-hmm. So when they put methyl with in with the with the drug, it makes it so it's more functional. It actually allows the body to use it. If they take that out, the body kills it and just throws it out as waste. Oh, interesting. So, but the problem is, is it's very liver toxic. It'll actually. You um, got distracted. Yeah, I, I, I needed to. <laughs> That's something I have to respond to. But anyhow, it's uh, the thing is, is it's something that is um, is 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 completely destroys your liver. And if you don't know what you're doing and you're taking this stuff and you think that you're safe and you're not taking stuff to support your liver, to to protect your heart, to protect your kidneys, you'll end up you'll end up destroying them. You may get a body that quote unquote looks the way you want, mm-hmm. but you're absolutely destroying your internal organs. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that's what makes a lot of this scary when you don't know that. Now granted mm-hmm. this isn't what we're talking about at this mm-hmm. point, because these are much smaller levels, but Do you want to transition to that? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um but it 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 let's and like I said, before I get to that point, so so when you the whole point is when you're taking any of this stuff and you start to mix it combining stuff you don't know what the reaction is going to be. And that's that's the scary thing about supplementation and, and taking medication with doctors. You know, you can stay completely legal and, and end up destroying yourself internally. You want to know what I just watched yesterday? Bigger, Faster, Stronger. Great, great movie. Which on, is on a documentary use. about steroid use. And this topic is specifically talked about in there is that um, how easy it is to get, one, just street drugs, two, steroids, and three, how how you can get those, and then combining them with um, uh, prescription medications and the effects that they have on the body. And it just was a really interesting documentary to watch. Very eye opening. Oh yeah, I love that. And I, I definitely suggest it. It's, it's on Netflix. It's called Bigger, Faster, Stronger. What's his name? Chris Bell. Chris Bell. It's Mark and, Bell's brother. And then actually. yeah, yeah, and. Um, 
and Mark's in it a lot. And then um, yeah, towards, towards we the, also the watched, uh, oh, what's the second film he just did? The one about Prescription Rugs? That one, yeah. Prescri- prescription Thugs yep. is what his, the other one is called. Um, that is also a, a really too. good one about um, prescri- the effects of prescription medication in America compared to the rest of the yeah, world. He does a good job on, on his documentary stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, so anyway, back to these because these are uh, these are actually not the ones that I was bringing up aren't as much across the counter. You can get them across the counter; they're legal to buy, but you can't buy them at Walmart or GNC. You have to actually find them. So um, these are stuff you would find across the counter. What is it? Uh, this is a test boost. Okay. It's, it's called the uh, Pro Formula Fives Turbo T Advanced Testosterone Formula. So. Um, Basically, what these are made up of is is is, uh, and I mean, I'll go through some of it. But vitamin E, vitamin B, vitamin B twelve, vitamin B six, um, zinc. Um, it, it does a bunch of uh, proprietary blends. It's got two different proprietary blends in it with different uh, roots and such. Plant um, extracts that are exactly supposed to help boost natural testosterone levels, which, supposedly. Right, and then I like the supposed. We'll get to that. Um, and then it throws in... Does it have any mention of, uh, is it pronounced saponins? I don't know, it doesn't that's have That's in there, the tribulus extract it does have. It does have trib in this one. Because that's, that's the big thing with tribulus, which is a known, quote-unquote, testosterone booster. Yeah, but again, we'll cover that in two blinks. Mm-hmm. Um, no, it doesn't have trib in this one. I don't see it. So how do you feel about Granted, that? I got a, the a microsc- effectiveness of these supplements? microscopic. Yeah. It, by the way, the, the reason it's taking so long for us to, to check out these nutrition labels is because the, be the font still. is in like four point uh, font. <laughs> but uh, it's it, it to like I said to finish this off before I get back to what Taylor was talking about. Um, it has um, different uh, amino acids in it, L-carnitine, which is actually somewhat known to affect uh, L-arginine is another one that is known to affect um, uh, the potential of building muscle. Can't even read that one because it's too small. It's got so what's kind of actually has caffeine. Purpose of these supplements, and do you think they're effective? Do you think that they are uh, uh, fluff supplements that they have? You know, maybe a research article or two that supports them Mm, potentially, or is it biased? What do you think? It's biased for sure. Okay, so so the research that's put out on these, and I'm I'm looking at one specifically. I'm not going to butcher the whole thing about what it can do. it's more of a libido, libido um, type thing effect, mm-hmm. to be honest. Okay. For, for both male and females, it doesn't matter. They can both take this and have that kind of effect. Uh-huh. Um, but it's it, it, the actual boosting of testosterone doesn't happen with almost anything in here. If you're low on zinc, um, studies have actually shown that if you're low on zinc, you're you're deficient. That it will boost it if you take zinc. Um, zinc is one thing you have to have to have testosterone build. So it's one thing that's actually, if you are low on it and you add it, it'll increase it. Okay. Um, but if you don't take, if you, if you, if you're fine on zinc and you take zinc, it doesn't have an accumulative effect. It doesn't mm-hmm. get bigger. Yeah. So you don't have more testosterone. All yeah. it does is get to it, uh, as you put it, homeostasis level. Yeah. So, so, um, zinc is one thing that's been proven to do it though. Um, vitamin B12 has an effect as well. That boosts energy. It, it 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 boosts energy. It does a few things besides that, but it, it's something that actually will have an effect. Does do it think, build testosterone? No. Do you think uh, this is just speculative? Completely speculative. Sure. That they threw B twelve in there so you would feel the effect. Absolutely. Okay, so that's a good point. Dude, to make. all this is made on effect. So another thing to think about, people, is that supplement companies will put ingredients into their supplements so that you feel when it's working. For example, the supplements we talked about in the last uh, supplement episode that we recorded. The ingredient beta alanine, and in a lot of other supplements, especially pre workouts, they put in the B vitamin niacin, um, are give a tingling sensation after mm-hmm. consumption. Yep. It causes yep. your body especially to niacin. flush. Yep. Yeah, niacin and especially and yeah, and beta alanine in the right amount too. Right. And I I like that feeling. I actually personally do supplement raw beta alanine into some of my pre workout mixture that I I concoct myself um, because be, I don't you like. You want to be careful with that too, though. Mm-hmm. No, I because the effect can be real strong. Oh yeah. So so, and and but most most supplement companies put in a conservative amount like oh a gram. Well, when you talk about zinc, this is yeah. way low on what you but, take on zinc. But but what I'm getting at is that this having B12 in there. You could just take this pill and not feel anything happen, but because it has things that will mm-hmm. elevate your energy levels, you'll feel like, oh, 
I oh, yeah. I feel like this oh, yeah. pill is working because oh, yeah. ever since I started you're, taking it, my energy naturally increased. You'll push more weight. Yeah, absolutely. So in the in the gym. So yeah. just be careful when you're looking for supplement or when you're taking supplements that you're not just saying, "Oh, it's working because I feel it." Um, it's a lot of supplements are designed that way because it helps sell them. That's mm-hmm. that's when, when, if someone goes to you and like pre workout. So many people are like, oh, hey, this pre-workout's better than this pre-workout because I beta, feel right it better. What's that? Is beta alanine in there? Right there. Right there. Yep. So you're going to naturally, with a little bit uh, of this, you're going to feel an energy boost and a little bit of a tingling sensation potentially when you take this testosterone booster, quote unquote. And so naturally, you're going to be like, oh, it's working. When really, it's just a side effect of an ingredient. Well, and the effect <clears throat> it has on guys makes you feel like you have more testosterone if you understand what I'm saying. But mm-hmm. but fenugreek, fenugreek is something that has not been statistically or studies have never never conclusively proven it does anything to you. It uh, it does change your libido, but that's that's the thing it does the most. Um let's see what this one is CD extract, so that's part of that one. Wow, that is really hard to read. <laughs> I think I mean boron citrate. I actually had a, a test boost a little bit from, but it's very short lived. The milligram dosage in this are extremely small. So, in all honesty, if they were effective, they're not anywhere near what you want to take. If yeah, you would. and you're you're gonna you may not even feel anything. Right. So that that was a uh, high T Pro Formula Five Turbo T yeah. Advanced Testosterone Formula. And is then what this that was. this one's high T Black Hardcore Formulation for testosterone boosting. See, sex drive and libido, strength and stamina, energy and vitality, uh, nitric oxide, and muscle mass. Um, again, it was going to have, it, it looks to me, I want to same company? Early. No. Uh, these, wait, oh, they might be. No, you know, I think. I High tea is the company. I think they are. Yes, yeah, I think they are. So they, that makes sense why their formulations are similar. So uh, it starts off with vitamin E, goes to vitamin B6, it goes to vitamin B12. Uh, it goes to zinc and an extremely low doses of zinc. The first one was was 7.5. If you're not under under 20, is is almost ludicrous to take anyway because it almost doesn't affect you. Um, and then it goes into its proprietary blend. It has raspberry ketones, which have actually statistically been studied not st- statistically but study wise has been shown to ketones, not raspberry, but ketones themselves uh, help burn fat to an extent. But th- th- it's so small. It's Supplemental ridiculous. ketones. Yes. Um, this one has caffeine in it, so it's going to make your energy boost up when you take it. And then it goes into, like I said, fenugreek. Um, so one, so on it, would you say that without the B12, beta alanine, niacin, if, if those are in this one or and not, caffeine. and the caffeine, without those, would you even n- notice a difference I, with the supplement? You would notice libido effects. Okay. Because fenugreek actually taking it by itself in the right doses will affect that like crazy. Okay. Um uh, so if if, uh, if you're looking to increase libido, that, yeah, that's this, definitely the, something to consider. There's cheaper ways to go about it, but it will work. Um, uh, it has a, a form of uh, Tonkat Ali, or uh, more of a street term, is it's called Long Jack. Um, that one's been, they're trying to pr- push that that one's actually a, a test booster. It has not been proven to do it um, in studies. Um Test tribulus is in this one. Oh, okay. Um, so, and that one's another one that is not in studies. And tri- tribulus, if I'm uh, not mistaken, so it's depending on the the type of tribulus, will have a certain amount of of a plant extract called saponins, I believe it's pronounced. And, well, and that's, that yeah, was that's part of what it is. Tra- the reason why that's thrown in there is that's traced back to um, uh, the Roman Empire. They would give this plant, I guess, to um, to uh, soldiers and or gladiators, I believe, and supposedly their their anecdotal evidence showed that it would increase um, energy performance. Oh, it does strength, increase. That's what I'm saying. Those kind of things. It does affect. It does affect certain things. But trib yeah. trib is not something that they. It's, that's what I'm saying. The claim is right. And the but I'm saying it, it, it does affect that. It mm. does give you energy. It does mm. do those kind of things. And that's, but whether it actually raises your natural which hormone testosterone right, levels, which it does not do. Mm-hmm. You know, um, tribulus tribulus. If you take anything below a uh, a full gram of it does almost nothing for you at all. Mm. And, and the pri- 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 <laughs> proprietary branding is, is 900 milligrams for everything in it. Yeah, so you have so, no idea what amount you're getting. And it's at, the very, almost, it's at the very bottom of the list. You're only getting probably 200 
milligrams of it. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe 20. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, now, now fenugreek, if you take 650 milligrams, it actually will do something to you. Mm. You'll have an effect. Does it boost testosterone? No. So it's not being used for that. It's, it's a feeling thing. So so all this is, is illusionary, in my yeah. opinion. Most of these testosterone boosters are illusionary. So basically what you're saying is you're going to have an increased libido. You'll get mm-hmm. maybe an increase in energy. You're mm-hmm. not necessarily actually going to raise your testosterone at all. And you're going to make this company money by taking their supplement. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, so, but, I mean, it's a, it I makes mean, sense because it's a profitable... Yeah, and, and does, it do, does it do some of the stuff it's saying? It increases sex drive and libido without question. Um, does it give strength and stamina? I, in my opinion, and from what I've seen personally, no, it doesn't. But you know, studies also don't verify that. Um, does it give energy and vitality? It does. Actually. So, the, so the some of these claims are true. It yeah. just it's, and, and, it's it's one of those uh, marketing things where it it's deceptive. It's misleading. Without misleading. Question. See, and, and so what does it say right here? So so it had start out. And it says in association with resistance training. So yeah, is your strength and stamina going to go up? I didn't even see that. If your strength's going to go up, yeah, it's absolutely going to go up if you do. Oh, here's great. Yeah, this is great because in association with resistance training, you're naturally guess what's going to happen? Your testosterone is going to go up when you lift weights. That's correct. So so guess what? Instead of taking this, just lift weights, and you'll get a better. You will get more testosterone development than a test boosters well test that, boosters if, won't give you anything yeah unless they have that, but that's what i'm saying but but now i gotta i gotta uh, this one doesn't have it but i gotta step off and i gotta say if you take a test booster that has uh, diaspark acid in it mm-hmm. it'll re- raise your testosterone levels potentially by about six percent six percent is off the charts not noticeable mm-hmm. it's low as hell i mean it, forget the language i guess but it's low as all get out um and so it's really not giving you a boost it's worth anything yeah and that's and that's the only one that's been done in studies more recent studies are suggesting that DAA doesn't do anything either. Mm-hmm. But there's been enough studies that I believe that it still does. So is there stuff that will raise testosterone that's, that's uh, across the counters? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, and you don't have to go to something that's a pro, classified as a pro-hormone to do that. Mm-hmm. But these aren't, you know. Yeah. Um, this one is one that you could probably talk about just as much as I can, actually, man. Oh, that's, a, that's the joint one, right? Yeah, because it, it has uh, MSM. <coughs> it's got chondroitin. And glucosamine. And glucosamine. So with those, um, I haven't looked into it a lot recently, but I, I'll say personally, now there's other factors to be considered. When I supplemented with that, I, I the reason I turned to, to glucosamine with chondroitin and MSM was because when I was first starting out with weight training, I was uh, 140 pounds at 5 foot 10, and I am now around 175, and I went up. I came up to 175, so 35 pounds gained. And that's also including body fat loss. So really, I gained a lot more muscle than just that uh, in, a, in a time frame of about 18 months to two years. My joints, especially my elbows, ached because the rapid muscle growth. And I was doing it fairly properly and with, with a little more education because I was studying my training certification and nutrition. and. I and uh, add to this when you get through with No, that's your fine. I'm just saying this is why I took it is well, we because – yeah, I'm, I'm excited to hear what you have to say about that. Um, but uh, so I started I'm doing some research on what, what might help me with my joints. And so I, I saw that there was some potential evidence for the aid from glucosamine with chondroitin and MSM. And whether it was a uh, placebo effect or whether it was effective or not, I noticed that after about two to three months of taking it consistently that my joint pain dissipated. The only time I feel it, I still do sometimes feel it is with and we've talked about this in a past episode, is with French press or overhead extensions, sometimes on very heavy skull crushers, but usually typically not on those. And um, so that's where I say, you know, anecdotally, may I may have experienced some benefit from it, uh, but I think the research suggests that it's inconclusive. Yeah, absolutely, it is. I, all the research that I've read on it, um, initially it leaned towards the idea that it helped with joint issues, but they found that the, the interesting thing, and even the studies that said they were effective um, with uh, with that uh, glucosamine, chondroitin, uh, MSM combination, um, is that some people it worked with and some people it didn't. So what do I believe it was is? It, uh, was I think it subjective? It was, yeah. yeah. Yes, it was. And, and, that's, and that's something to think about, too, is if a supplement is, is truly a safe supplement and... It works only based off placebo. Is it um, 
is it uh, okay to take? Yeah. And then obviously the answer would be yeah. yeah. If it's if well, you well, if it's not harmful and you feel that it's working and it's creating a positive reaction, uh, whether that's like I said psychological or, or otherwise, uh, I don't necessarily see a problem with it. Well, I'll I'll, but, I'll I'll bring up another. In fact, I'll even do a partial shout out to him. But um, uh, we do science. When I was getting you to good oh, uh-huh. performance, uh-huh. Uh, two PhDs were talking about this that uh, are on this show. Well, one of them's on the show, and he brings other PhDs in, and they were discussing this specifically placebo effect. The honest to goodness truth: if if it, if it is effective in your own brain, mm-hmm. and, it's effective. and it makes it work. Why not take it mm-hmm. now? If it's a huge it's amount of money, what, it's a waste of money. Then yeah. that's different. But that's what I was going to say. Right? If it's is not, that if the if the consumer's being exploited? Like, like, let's say it's a supplement that that doesn't have any real scientific scientific backing, and the only backing is the subjective uh, placebo effect that it works. Um, these people are being taken advantage of. Yes, and there's a difference in this. So, so my point is, is if it's if it's highly expensive and it's a placebo effect, um, then in my opinion, we should be trying to push that out and make it so that people don't understand that it's not doing a dang thing for them. And yeah, get different effects. Yeah. If it's not expensive and they're getting a placebo effect, sweet. You want to know the the most expensive price I've ever seen glucosamine with chondroitin and MSM priced at? It was like between forty three and forty seven dollars. See, I a would bottle. never buy that. There's no way. That's so much. That's I, crazy. And, you can, and and whether it works or not, you can get it online. Well, dude, the exact same ingredient mm-hmm. um, from uh, there's a brand that's pretty decent with many products. I'm not sure about all of them, but uh, n- now. Now it's not now bad. Now nutrition it's actually pretty or solid. now supplements or now, whatever. Now it's, it's, now it's pretty solid. Yeah, they, they're they actually ranked high good. in some of our yep. some of our places that we check. Um, I got a lot of respect. But for now they stuff. they sell it for like fourteen bucks. Oh I yeah, think. yeah. Like, and, and so these companies, some of these companies selling gl- these joint supplements crazy. are making bank off oh, yeah. of people. You bet. You bet. And that's what bothered me. See, I tried uh, I tried chondroitin, um, glucosamine chondroitin. MSM combination. I actually tried without MSM once too. Mm-hmm. It did nothing for me at all. Now, now this one. And another thing to think about too is my anecdotal experience. Like I said, that mm-hmm. was over a longer period of time. Well, short term, but kind of long term. About three months for it to feel like it was effective. Guess what? My joint tissue could have just adapted to my That's training at that point. That's true too. I could have done absolutely nothing for me, but my perception was that it worked because I, that was the only thing that I had changed. But it could just be that my body had adapted to my training up to that point. So I, it, it's well, uh, I like, like we said, I agree with that, totally. it's inconclusive. Right. Now, I will say <laughs> that I have a lot of respect for the last ingredient on this, which is collagen. There's uh, a lot coming out about collagen, collagen right now. The thing about collagen is it's, it's a base product. Not base product. It's a base um, Builder, yeah, builder block for in the body. <coughs> collagen is actually something that a lot of the, almost every aspect of your body is built from co- mm-hmm. a collagen base. So collagen is something that I believe in. That being said, I think you'd have to take a pretty large dose to have it. To have it That's what effect. I've heard. Is it has to be in high doses? It did help my shoulder when um, I took collagen. You might want to look into. Uh, I'll give a shout out to the uh, Primal Blueprint guy. Um, mm-hmm. Mark Sisson, I yep. believe Mark's he he has an episode stuff. on collagen that's fairly impressive. I can't I can't cite any of the stuff. research because right. I I just can't remember it. But he had a pretty um, impressive uh, episode about collagen specifically that makes me very curious to look into it as a legitimate supplement. Um, so that would be something for people to check out. Mark Sisson, the Primal Blueprint. Yeah, he's he's very. Um, he's, As for his other supplements, I have to check them out. I'm not he, sure because he does sell a supplement line. There's some you know personal self interest there. I, I have don't a lot know of respect about, for the guy. I haven't I, looked. I have a lot of respect for Mark. He's. he's I'm just saying that as like a as like a, I need to look into it more. No, no, you know that what makes I mean? sense. Yeah, absolutely. I, I have a lot of respect for what Mark's done. He's very his his because, uh, um, what you brought up is is a uh, lifestyle change, if you will. Um, it's very paleo esque. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, he very he paleo. does. It's very intermittent paleo. fasting. Yep. He yes. does. He actually does. Uh, I I could be mistaken, but I feel like he talked about doing keto more than he did paleo. Uh, it's 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 very close to paleo. I've I've looked at both mm. that and paleo at the same time. Okay. When I was looking at them, and they are very very tight. Okay. I'm not I could saying, be mistaken. I'm not, I just no, barely no, no, got into his paleo is very keto related. So, yeah. I mean, if you get realistic, yeah. paleo is a very keto-based yeah. I like – a lot of what he does is very evidence-based. So, oh, yeah. It so is without I, question. I, I like Mark a lot. I like he's, him. he's a good – there's a uh, – Robert Wolf, Bob Wolf um, is another guy that – he's paleo-based. Mm. And those guys are both incredibly in, intelligent and have done a lot of studies. But Okay. So what's this last one we've got? HGH Complete. 
Oh, really? It says that on the cover, huh? Keto. So HGH is human growth hormone. And amino um, I actually had a client who went to FitCon. She, she's the one who informed me about this. Um, Margot, thanks for giving us this uh, shout out. This supplement, so we can uh, check it out. Um, it is not the hormone itself. Uh, it, no, it's it, not even close. It's it's one. It'd be illegal to distribute it that way. Yeah, Two, HGH. it wouldn't be it wouldn't be fin- fiscally make sense because it, it's such an expensive um, substance that that it wouldn't make sense to be giving out free samples of HGH, and um, it just wouldn't be happening. Did but you what what HGH is? Did you say what it was? human growth hormone? Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Um, so it's another anabolic hormone that's in the body. Um, it, you, you, when you're going through puberty, large amounts of this are being dumped into your body, and um, it's often referred to as the fountain of youth um, in terms of hormones. Uh, yeah, which I don't agree with that. Yeah, I'm just saying it's a it's talk, well, uh, talked about in that aspect. We're gonna make this really a long episode because I am gonna touch on HGH. Well, so get get through this. We'll and, get um, we'll we're at. But basically, what this is is it's an HGH quote unquote booster, right? Well, Just like it's not the a testosterone. Booster. It says booster. okay, so this is what it says. It says growth hormone support complex. Okay. So it's not suggesting when you read the entire thing that it's a booster. Mm. It, it's saying that it supports it, hmm. which is a little different. Increased very energy, loose claim. Yeah, it's a very loose claim. Increase increased energy, increased lean body mass. I wonder. If increased it recovery and performance. Pharmaceutical grade. Oh really? Pharmaceutical grade what? Um, it's, it's it does not <laughs> clarify that because Promotes, there are pharmaceutical grade uh, vitamins. That is you know correct, what I mean? and that's what I'm going to tell you that that's what it's talking about. The idea, um, and then it says promotes restful sleep, which hmm. explains the last thing we talked about when I looked at this before we actually hmm. started talking about. So um, it has chromium in it. It has zinc in it. Ooh, it has 15 milligrams of zinc. I'm impressed by that actually. I'm shocked that it's that high because I usually don't go that high. Mm. Wait, did you say magnesium's in it? Uh, I haven't gotten far oh, okay. enough to read that. Um, it has glutamine, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Those are all in here. L-taurine. So, so taurine's in it, which is going to have give you that weird feeling too because that does do that. It has the BCAAs, uh, ALC, arginine's in it so yeah it, it's it's got a pretty big base on its um aminos and then the very first thing is tribulus oh interesting it doesn't tell me how much which saddens me but i'd like to know that in fact it doesn't even give me a total rating on the on the proprietary blend it does it's 3400 milligrams so it's total actually pretty high, but that's a lot of stuff that's in here yeah so it has it has trib it has gaba which is actually pretty impressive um that's something that's that, a gaba that's a nootropic right uh, what is GABA does do that actually yeah, yeah nootropic yeah. stuff it does do nootropics to an extent yes but it's not a full out nootropic it just has a reaction that'll, mm. that'll stimulate it um, this is the one I was telling you I'm shocked it's in here uh, Ash actually if I can say this right Ashwagandha 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 yeah, yeah I finally said it it's hard for me to say that I've been having a hard time reading today guys <laughs> sorry um, it has L-DOPA now L-DOPA is I was asking you earlier. Do you know much about L-DOPA? No. So DOPA. This is why you're leading this episode. DOPA, DOPA, L-DOPA is is one that's the feel goods. Mm. You get a lot of L-DOPA when you when you work out. People start feeling better because of it. Yeah. So this will make you feel better. Interesting. Um, so it's kind of it's kind of almost exactly just like that last testosterone booster in terms of at a grander scale. Yeah. Yeah. At a much grander scale. This has a lot more in it. So so that has low levels of zinc. This has actually closer to the, the percentage. But, and that's what the do. recovery could be attributed to more Without question. So than anything else yep, in there. Yep, yep, for sure. So it just it just kinda goes to show that Makaru. Makaru. It just kinda goes to show that these um, supplements you gotta be careful about the claims. Melatonin. You gotta be careful about the ingredients. You gotta read the labels fully. You if you don't understand anything about the labels, you gotta do your due diligence and research and um, uh, look at the, even if you know what the ingredients are, know whether those ingredients are evidence based, uh, have evidence um, to support their claims. Um, And uh, also be, be wary of marketing. The, the the main reason why this is such an interesting um, supplement to look at is because in the title it's all caps it's the biggest thing on the on the uh on the label and it just says hgh so of course anyone who's ever heard of that term that is interested in building muscle is going to be immediately drawn to i was going to say if they've heard that term 
they will be drawn to it. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter if they were thinking about building muscle. That's true. If they've Actually, heard that, because, I guarantee because, they'll be pulled Because Margot it. had quite the reaction when she told me about this. She's like, they were trying to sell me the legitimate HGH. You know what I mean? And so it, it had quite the reaction from her. So, yeah. um, and I, what the second she told me, I was very intrigued. I was like, oh, I got to check this out. Just, yeah. just for, ex- um, uh, uh, non experimental purposes, um, for just educational purposes. Yes. So, so, so my question is, considering we don't want to make this too long, do we want to cover pro hormones? I think we should save hormones to be its own episode. Okay. So HGH, pro hormones, um, we talked we talked about DHEA. Songs. We did, we, we did briefly. T- that This has DHEA in it, mm. actually. And it okay. had, the other thing I was going to say is melatonin. We want to cover that, too, really quick before we get off this. Melatonin well, is, let's do it. is actually something that deals with, which is in this, and, and like I said, the claim on the end promotes restful sleep. Yeah. Melatonin is something that actually causes in, naturally inside of your body yes. that, that, that causes you to sleep. Melatonin specifically controls your your perception. Uh, well, well it, so it's, it's affected by... Night and day, and it yes, it, it, it helps so. your body recognize when it is night. Yes, and when the sun Shuts down. and when there is sunlight. That's yep. pretty much its function. So if you have it, and, and I'm going to say this on a <clears throat> on a supplemental level, if you have a hard time sleeping, um, studies have actually shown if you take melatonin, it will help you to sleep. I've I've experienced this personally firsthand, and I have melatonin at home right now. I don't take it all the time because I pretty much I don't have a hard time sleeping. Right. Uh, what I've noticed is I fall asleep easily. I wake up a uh, a well, lot because of uh, oh, movement and discomfort. Right. Um, and I find that when I've supplemented with melatonin, um, about three to five milligrams, um, that my sleep is deeper. Um, I do feel slightly more well rested. Maybe that's placebo. Not sure, but it could be legit. I bet you're sleeping sounder. But what I find is my sleep feels shorter, actually. Yeah. So, like, I go to sleep. It, like, it almost kind of, like, knocks you out, and then you just wake up type mm-hmm. thing. I do find that, um, and maybe it's because of the sunlight, uh, because I wake up when it's still dark. I get up pretty early. Um, it's When I do take melatonin, it's it's harder to wake up as fast. Which would make sense um, if you're if you're now I haven't I haven't taken it and then waking up when the sun was already up right so we'd have to see how it affects that way but so I do have a harder time getting up but I do feel like it increases the quality of sleep that I have right no that makes um, sense to me that makes sense so that's been my personal experience with it right that's why I wanted to throw that in there before we got off because that's something that's also in there and, and like I said does it would it do most of what it says yeah it really would it would increase your energy to do most of that is it HGH no it's not anywhere near HGH <laughs> yeah but but like I said if you read through the whole thing. It's misleading because it's it's a support complex. Yeah. So there you have it, folks. There's uh, the end of our supplement review from FitCon, and uh, that gives you kind of an idea of how to read labels, what to look out for, how to understand claims, marketing, and um, just to be more cautious. Do your due diligence when you're looking at supplementation. Um, if you're going to consume it, really know that it's okay to put in your body. And uh, yeah, till next it. time. Do it. See you later. Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. Shane and I hope you learned something new and exciting today about your own health and fitness. Head over to metabolicradio.com. There you'll find our bios and our results-driven programs that are designed to help teach you everything you need to know when it comes to getting real permanent results. You can also sign up for our newsletter to get free weekly updates. To chat with Shane or I, just email us at taylor at metabolicradio.com or shane at metabolicradio.com. We would love to hear from you. You can also join the conversation on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com and search for Metabolic Radio Private Forum. There you can request to join the group. We would love to add you to the conversation and answer your questions on the show. And hey, if you like our podcast, please help us grow our community by leaving us a five-star rating and review on iTunes. We would really appreciate your help. Thanks again so much for all your support and your listenership. Now go out there and spread the good word of fitness.